You got it. Ooh, 99. Not bad for a little guy. Only about 10 mile an hour slower than what I could do. The importance of bat speed oftentimes gets overlooked by coaches and players. What I'm going to show you in this video is the things necessary to help you create more bat speeds. There's six major focuses when it comes to bat speed, things that will help you increase your bat speed. The first one is mentality. When we talk about mentality as a hitter, you can straight up increase your bat speed just by being more aggressive with your mental approach. A lot of times kids are so consumed with the way the swing is supposed to operate that they don't have a mentality to be aggressive. An aggressive mentality will create bat speed. I've seen it on a day-to-day -day basis. If you get the hitter more aggressive, they are guaranteed to create more bat speed. Another thing that helps increase bat speed that gets overlooked is the, the motion of the load getting their hands ready to hit, rhythm and timing in your hands. So most hitters, when they get ready to hit, they'll load and they'll just kind of lock their hands into place. What we want to be able to do as a hitter, go ahead and show your way of doing it, Marcus, where well, you're going to get ready to hit with your hands. So bat speed will be created by feeling your hands get ready to hit, having a little bit of movement so that they can feel their barrel head. Kids that cannot feel their barrel head with their hands will not be able to whip their barrel head to the ball quick enough. So timing in your hands, rhythm in your hands is an important tool for creating more bat speed too as well. The hips play an important role for bat speed too as well. Most of the time the hips, uh, when, they're, when they're being taught to a hitter, get taught correctly. But the whole purpose of rotating your hips uh, the right way is to gain momentum with your bat speed. So what I'm going to talk about right now is quick hips. Marcus is going to show us quick hip rotation. Don't swing the bat, just rotate your hips as quick as you can. Your hips will generate your power with your hands of the ball. So if a hitter can focus on rotating their hips quickly, it will definitely speed up their hands, creating more torque and more bat speed through the pitch too. So go ahead and load and then focus on quick. It's a quick explosive movement in the hips, not just doing it just to look pretty. Quick hips helps bat speed. The next thing incorporated with uh, creating more bat speed is what we call top hand whip or top hand snap. A lot of times this doesn't get taught because of coaches being so consumed on letting a rollover happen, so show us a rollover. A top hand snap isn't a rollover. A top hand snap is your top hand, for him, his case, is his right hand snapping through the pitch like this. So a lot of times we get too pushy with our extension or our top hand rolls over. When we hit with extension, our top hand needs a snap. That's going to create whip action and barrel head explosiveness all the way through your swing. The second part to this is top hand snap, but also to create bat speed, you want to speed up through the ball instead of slow down through the ball. We need to teach, especially our young hitters, not just to get to the ball and slow down to contact the ball, but to speed up. So show me a swing where you're aggressively exploding your top hand and speeding up through the pitch. Top hand snap. You should hear that bat bark like a dog. Whip it. Good. Top hand snap. The use of bat weights um, is definitely a debatable topic. There's a lot of coaches out there that don't like bat weights. They think that uh, it creates a hindrance in their bat speed. I'm going to tell you this right now. From my everyday observational science that I do with kids on a day-to-day -day basis, bat weights tremendously increase, increase bat speed, not just for the actual strength and, and power through the wrist and the forearms, but for the mentality purposes. A lot of people don't understand the importance of swinging a heavy bat for confidence and for, for mentality and approach. So we have a bat weight right here. We call this the wrist warrior. There's no form on, on, on perfect bat weights or what to do. You just got to be careful with the bat weight being too high up on the bat. But a bat weight closer to the hands forces hitters to learn how to drive their hands explosively to the ball and then it also creates a momentum that forces them to speed up through the ball as well. So the use of bat weights in my opinion is mandatory for all hitters that want to increase bat speed. It definitely strengthens the hands, the wrists, and the forearms but at the same time it creates a mentality for the hitter to be able to confidently get in the box with their maximum bat speed. Use them because they work. Serious athletes, serious hitters, meet the weight room. Weight room, meet the hitters. Hitters, if you want to be serious, you want to create bat speed, you want to get strength, you got to get, your, get yourself in the weight room. A lot of times the weight room stuff gets overlooked. I don't recommend hitters getting in the weight room until they're about 14 years old. But if a hitter does not get serious in the weight room, they will not maximize their full bat speed and confidence. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you what lifts to do or what lifts not to do. Those are in the book, so read the book. What I am going to say is you have to be able to do it. Don't focus so much on what the core is supposed to do. A lot of, a lot of hitting workouts today are so focused on core, they don't get kids stronger. Uh, a lot of um, things that are focused on today, too, as well, are the whole functional training where they're so functional and about the movements. Let's get some kids some mentality. Most of the stuff done in the weight room should be develop a mentality of a hitter instead of just going through the motions. Let's get some kids throwing around some weights under control so they can protect themselves, but let's build that aggressive approach, which is going to correlate from the weight room onto the field in the box for more results on the field. Get them in the weight room if you're serious because it will it will work. That's one of the most important things that, that uh, you need to do. I also 
probably most, my most important regret in baseball is not lifting the way I should have lifted. So get it done. I promise it'll help. With a limited time that a hitter has to be able to see the pitch, react to it, bat speed plays a major role in whether or not they'll be successful at the plate. A lot of times coaches will overlook all this stuff, so what I recommend is to be able to really focus in on it, not just teach the mechanics with the purpose of doing it right, but teach the mechanics with the purpose of being able to create more bat speed, create more power, which in turn will be able to give a kid more confidence at the plate. Bat weights, weight training, all this stuff helps. So let's make sure that we're, we're giving the, the hitters what they truly need and creating more bat speed, and let's get it done.